Hey peeps, this is Mango. Welcome back to another Computer Craft tutorial episode. I apologise for the lack of these tutorials recently. Um, I have been recording other stuff and I have not got around to recording this. Anyway, today we'll be taking a look at making Turtles more world interactive in that you can um, build stuff, you can break stuff, you can you can even interact with other computers. So, if I just go over here, you can see I have, a, I have the turtle. I'm not sure if I... If I remember, if I showcase that last episode, anyway. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the turtle to build a wall. So it's going to be like a maybe a three by three wall or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to go. I'm going to turn off any eye first because I do not like having any eye while I'm coding. We're going to go edit a wall. So this is going to be our program. So what we're going to start, what we're going to have a look at is four loops. I'm not sure if I showcase this already. Um, if I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure it's a it's uh, a equals one ten like that. Do so. This will repeat ten times what we put in here. Let's put n there because I always forgot to put n there. I always forget to put n there. Um, and we're gonna make it so the wall's gonna be um, the wall's gonna be ten wide. Now, one thing you can also do is you can that's Java silly me. If you do double dash or more, you can actually make comments. So we'll go this um, horizontal horizontal placement. This is always good to um, annotate your code like this because it helps other people, if you're showing it to other people, it helps other people look and see how the code is formulated. So this is going to be our horizontal placement. And so this is going to be done 10 times. Actually, you know what, there's probably a better way to do this. Let's put this 3 and let's make this vertical placement. Um, the reason being is because we're going to we're going to be doing it like this, if I just exit out. We're going to be making the turtle come across like this. And that's going to be within a loop to show it how to build that. And then it's going to go up another level, and it's going to build across again. Like I brought along a good pick, so I can break all this really quickly. So, we're going to have to design... So this is going to be our vertical placement, so this is going to be layered, and this will repeat three times before it finishes. So we're going to create another for loop in this, and this is going to... Um, build our horizontal placement for B. Remember, if it's if it's the same um, if, it, if it's the same um, variable, I've got to remember not to call it an integer according to the Reddit. A helpful user on Reddit. Uh, if we go B equals uh, one comma ten do, and we're going to um, annotate this, and we're going to call it horizontal placement. Like that, and we're going to put another n there. Obviously, to, annot to not annotate it, of course, it's essential. But that's just to organize our code. Remember to always put organized indents. So what we're going to do for the horizontal placement, we're going to do turtle dot... Uh, hang on, let me think how we can do this. We can go turtle dot... turn right. Uh, that should work, I believe. Actually, turtle dot place and then turtle dot turn right and then turtle dot forward turtle dot turn left and that's going to repeat the loop now this might this is actually pretty inefficient because the way it's doing this is it's going to place so this is going to be the turtle it places the block right so it places the block. Let's get rid of that. And then it turns right from here, so it goes near. It goes forward, like that. And it turns left again, and it places the block. And it repeats that loop, so it goes like this. Because the turtle can't just place it to the left, as far as I know. Use our super pick. So from there, that will be our loop. Um, and the reason why... So this is what's going to happen, is when it finishes the loop... So it's going to end up over here, and it will turn right, and it will wait here, because this is the end of the loop. So then what we want to do is we want to make it go up, and it will want to, we'll want to make it go across again. So the way we're going to do that is, from there, turtle dot uh, up, turtle dot turn left. So it will be here, and then it will move up one, and I'll turn left, 
and then we'll start over here again. So I want to go want to go forward from there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go turtle. This might seem a little bit silly. Dot uh, move forward. I'm going to go make this eleven. Now we can do this more efficiently. Later on, I'll show you how to introduce arguments to it. So when you run the program, you can actually uh, specify what size the balls will be, which is very interesting to try. So it'll so once it finishes, it'll move across here. It'll turn this way, so this is the end of the wall, and then it'll build. It'll go up one. It's not going to build up one, obviously. It's going to turn left, and then it's going to move forward eleven this way. And if my often miscalculated calculations are correct, it should end up at where it needs to be to build the next one. So let's save this, and that should work. Okay, so there's actually an error with the program I wrote. Um, well, not an error, but still a annoyance. So this was walk forward, so just make sure you've got all this right. Um, thanks, to, and a helpful user on Reddit. Uh, I can't, sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. Attenfia, I can't pronounce that properly, told me that, um, uh, let's see, turtle, turn left and turn right don't accept perimeters, and that is quite helpful. So, this has a bit of a problem with it, and I don't think that accepts perimeters either. So, I'm going to create a for loop for this. So, I'm going to go for C. Actually, let's just, let's just call this walk. Um, so, walk equals... We're going to make him go for, um, forward 11 times. So, do. So, this is essentially making the total walk forward um, 11 times. Let's just put the tab there. So, that will just walk forward basically 11 times. And that should work, I believe. And also, I forgot to mention, um, when he actually finishes doing, uh, like walking across to get to the to get to the start of the wall again, he actually has to turn right. So we're going to have to put that in here. Turtle, well, let's not put the ridiculous number of tabs. Uh, turtle dot turn right, like that. And if we go walk, and let's actually put the cobblestone in there. He should start building the wall. So I ran this program before, and there was actually some errors with it and problems, so I had to fill around with it a little bit. That still makes me an experienced computer craft user, of course. <laughs> okay, let's does he? Okay, he's not going to run in there. So you can see the for loop's doing its work here, actually. Now that is one thing. He's moving too far. We might have to turn down the... We have to put 11 onto 10. But nonetheless, he's building a wall. He probably... I'm guessing he'll stop here. Yep. Uh, okay. Well, that's fine. So he's going to do this three times. And he'll create a bit of a slanted wall, actually. Which is interesting. But you can see how you can apply um, Turtle's... Turtles building ability to building projects. In fact, if I remember, Sethling did this maybe two or three years ago with Seth, um, with FTB. Interesting, he's doing that again. Well, I don't think I don't think he'll do that again. Okay, so there we are. He's finished. And um, even though the wall is not straight, the way you can make get get this to work properly, if I actually edit wall, um, you can put this down to ten, and that should work. Okay, so after, that's just the final result of what it does, just to prove it actually does work. I just edited the wall there, just put 10 in there. So, the next thing we're going to take a look at is is functions. So, functions allow you to m um, actually... So, if you're, if you're typing in a line of code, commonly, like, if you type in, like, two lines of code that you do all the time, it becomes very tiring after a while, so you want to use a function. So, we're going to integrate a function with this program to make it a little bit more streamlined. So what what is what is used here most? This. This is used a lot. Well, it's not used a lot, but we could compact four lines into something less, and we could also do it more if we want to. So we're going to go up the top before the for loop. I'm going to create function. I'm going to call this uh, side wall. And this is going to be our prim. This is going to be our command name, and this is what you use to actually trigger it. And I'll explain how to do that in a sec. I'm going to put n there. 
and we're going to do this. So we're gonna actually just gonna exactly just duplicate this turtle dot place turtle dot turn right turtle dot and we actually I remember that is a comma actually I believe turtle dot forward and turtle dot I'm saying turtle audio aren't I turn left okay so this is basically compacting all of this into a function and if this is using more lines I'll explain why it's more efficient so we can actually get rid of all this okay so that was uh, that was actually do's not supposed to be there so make sure you get rid of that apologies for that if you go wall now you can see he's the same the same things happening is doing the same thing and like I'm wondering like what's the advantage of this there's no significant advantage of having a function there is if you're using that multiple times if you're using that multiple times, you don't want to be typing the same line of code that many times. You can just type the function, and it's like a little box of code that you can deploy at any point. It's pretty interesting. As you can see, the program is having exactly the same effect. Functions are very useful in a good program. You'd have plenty of functions that, if you're using them often, then the functions would be often you wouldn't be just typing in manual code and you'll also have you have your code annotated okay guys so thank you for watching this episode sorry about the maybe short episode today reason being is because it takes a it, it was annoying me a little bit so i figured why not get a decent episode out rather than a longer one and badly recorded footage so next episode we'll be taking a look at a bit more wireless communication and in particular actually communicating between computers so like making like running commands on this computer and then sending it to the turtle like typing in wall on this computer and then the the um turtle wirelessly activating it anyway guys thank you so much for watching and i shall see you later